I have been so pleased with everything Bruno Mark that I've gotten over these past few months and year. This is a true unboxing and first impressions video, but then I'm going to put them on and we're going to really see how they are. So first of all, always appreciate how well packaged these shoes are. And here we go. These are some gray suede Bruno Marks. Let's hit the highlights. Again, total first impressions. It's got a good texture on the bottom. I would say it's kind of a lighter weight texture. Uh, this is more of a dressy, uh, everyday casual shoe, but with this white sole and with the darkness of the, the suede, I think I could get away with wearing this with um, dressier clothes as well. All right, let's go here. Highlights. Uh, so tread is, is fine. Again, lighter weight. Uh, cushion. That's got some give. I like that. Those are probably going to be comfortable, but the insole is the part that's really going to be comfortable or not. There's a little extra cushion right there. If you can see the little groove in there, appreciate that. I would say average, maybe even a little bit above average on the cushion. Let's see what else we can find out about these shoes. Pull that out. The packaging is always so good on these. Okay. The collar here, it's got a little extra cushion. Again, I would say average. It's definitely there. You can sense it. I think it's going to be very comfortable, but it's not uh, just over the top either. So, all right. Laces feel, feel good. Feel fine. I like the feel of the material. That, uh, that suede is nice. You know, one thing I'm appreciating just looking at these is the, the sole here. Look at all the extra attention to detail, the texturing changes here and changes again there. I like that. And then with that black contrast right next to it just creates a really sharp contrast. I think I like that as well. So what else? All right. Uh, the toe is a little bit more open, not so pointy. I need that for my, uh, my feet. I don't have wide feet, but I don't like my toes getting all crunched in there either in size 12s. Uh, I don't need to look like I'm wearing boats either. So <laughs> I appreciate the wider toe box. All right. All in all shoe feels good. Looks good. I'm going to throw it on stitching by the way, stitching. Let's look. Stitching looks consistent, looks good, not seeing any errors. That, I mean, that's the attention to detail that I need. I don't mind plucking off a, or cutting off a little random stitch here or there. That's fine. But like, if you're seeing a lot of that, it's just uh, tells of the quality or lack thereof of the shoe. All the stitching looks good. Okay, first impressions. I like these. I'm going to throw them on and see how they feel. Okay, I'm liking these. I would say the highlights are the lightweight and that drastic contrast between the white and the black and the gray. Really like that. Now here I've got some no-shows on and the collar around the side is definitely, the cushion is definitely appreciated. Uh, here we are. This is how most people wear them. Uh, leave the laces showing. I like to tuck the laces in. Go ahead and cuffed up the pants a little bit too so you can kind of see the shoe more. But yeah, no, these are, these are lightweight. And again, what makes Bruno Mark so great is they are affordable. And so lightweight, yes, cushioned, yes, comfortable. I could wear these all day, good style, and won't break the bank. Anyway, like these, hope that helps you.